let's first draw it and the bottom of the trunk coming up over here and we're going to define it the whole shape is about over here you can see the whole shape of the outside of the trees as a rounded circle they're coming down over here and the trunks okay start over here coming up and in the middle from here it's a little bit less than middle from here between the bottom and the top is a little bit less than middle. Start splitting into these branches and then coming up and coming this way. So when you are painting or drawing, study anything, you want to ignore the small details when you start with. Just focus on the biggest proportion. This applies to any subject matter that you're going to do. Like uh, say the portraits, the still life, or anything. Okay, and the little branches over here. And here you go, a little bit. And this one is coming up to this direction. And this is another one come up here and spread it in the other direction. We don't have to do exactly um, what the reference look like. So we can make changes, but we just get an idea um, of the overall layout of those things. And coming up over there. Okay, this is good. And some branches on this side and then small one coming on this direction. When I'm looking at the dry tree like this, it always makes me thinking about the traditional Chinese painting. Sometime in the future, and I'm going to give you some lessons about traditional Chinese brush painting. Okay, here you go. The branches get a little bit smaller and smaller as you're going up. Okay, like this. Okay, this is good. I'm going to add some background. I'm going to borrow the background actually from the final painting that we're going to do. Like this is the grass on this side. And this is at the end. And the other side have soft trees going on on the other side. And maybe I, we can throw a little mountain over here. But again, this is no winter. So may or may not have the mountain over there. The mountain may be just going to be white. Okay, I'm going to add a little grass over here. A little grass uh, uncover spot. By the way, the paper I'm using it is a Stramor 200, 140 pound cold press paper. First, we are going to do the background. Let's settle the background first. I'll do the sky color. On the top, I'm going to have a little red color. I'm going to get a little red color. At the top, will be a look a little bit kind of purple colors. And we're going to do that right from the top. And I'm going to add a little more red color in the middle over here. And when this is wet, the color is going to merge together pretty well. And the bottom over here, I'm going to give a little bit um, Windsor blue colors, a little bit more, a little bit bright at the bottom over here, like this. And those colors are going to merge together pretty well. And at the bottom over here, I'm going to have a little bit darker color. That color looks like a little bit brownish colors. So I get a little red and a little yellow and make it into kind of orange color. Now add a little blue color and it will become brown color. It's pretty easy. Maybe have a little bit more blue as suggestion for the trees. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. Maybe not really so straight or so smooth. Maybe make a little curve a little bit and maybe have a little bit of not so even at the top. Now I'm getting down to the bottom over here. I have a little bit kind of shadow colors. So I get this little, I already have the red and yellow and have some blue colors and have more almost like a gray color but I want to have a little bit more blue in this gray color just to add a little blue color into it this is great I'm just have a little bit of look like a shadow on the snow okay a 
That's good. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have an area on cover grass. And I'm going to have, I don't want to make the colors so bright, so intense. So you get the uh, complementary color with the red color into here. But now it looks like a little bit too light. So I'm going to mix with a little bit more colors, a little bit more red. Now the color must darker. Okay, now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just add a little bit that color in here. A little bit that color over here, maybe a little bit yellow. Here you go. And on this side, have a little, uh, a bigger piece of the, of the green color going through. And maybe at the end over there, get a little bit red. Have a little bit more like a brown colors. Like that. So this is the preparations of our final painting. Now we are going to start working on the trunk. Now we are looking at this uh, single tree. I'm going to start with red sable brush. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a little darker color, mix a little darker color. And now I'm going to mix with the blue the red, look at this color, it's already have yellow color, yellow, blue, and some red color all mixed together, but in this area have a little bit more yellow than the other two colors. Okay, now mix that together. Now, but however, I want the color a little bit thicker, which is a little bit more pigments. So I'm gonna mix with that. Okay, this is should be darker. Now I'm gonna start with from the bottom. Okay, going up. When you paint, paint a little bit slower. Tree will look a little bit more realistic. Now I get the smaller uh, branches, make it a little smaller. Now I'm gonna stop uh, from that direction. So now I'm gonna coming back over here and coming down a little smaller, going down to a little bit bigger. Maybe for this brush, we need to switch with a different brush, a little bit uh, smaller one. On this side, okay, let's draw a little bit slower. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna switch my brush they're going a little bit uh, smaller one. I'm gonna wash my brush and put it on the side. Now I'm gonna use this um, synthetic hair brush, a little bit more stiff, a lot more stiffer than a uh, disabled brush. I have a little bit more spring when you touch the hair. Now let's go over here and let's continue coming over here. Okay, and the hair can be a little smaller. Now be a little careful, you know, have to, you don't have to have this a little thinner and then get a little thicker at the end. It's supposed to be gradually get a little bit smaller and smaller, uh, which is thinner and thinner as is the branches going through. Okay, I'm gonna add another layer at the bottom of the trunk. 
it will try to make it a little bit solid at the bottom. Now we're gonna see for the top over here and have those thin small lines and we're gonna see how it's gonna look like by using the toothpick. So I'm gonna just use the toothpick to pick up the color. I was gonna see. Okay, this is very thin, that's good. Pick up the color. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. 